London Stock Exchange's blue chip FTSE 100 index touched its one month high after the easing of COVID restrictions in China boosted sentiments across the Asian and European markets. So in light of this, let's have a look at three FTSE listed stocks that are in the news. And the first one is Countryside Partnerships. The UK house building and urban regeneration company is garnering attention after its shareholders, US investment firm Inclusive Capital Partners with a 9.2% stake, said it's considering a bid for the company after two previous approaches. The value of the business is expected to be around £1.47 billion. The market cap of Countryside Partnerships stands at £1.1 billion and over the past year, the company's shares have depreciated by a whopping 41.6%. Next is JustEatTakeaway.com NV. The online food delivery company's sale of Grubhub is under threat as bosses are preparing for a $5 billion write down on the US business. Just Eat Takeaway purchased Grubhub in 2021 for 7.3 billion US dollars, but now it's under pressure to sell or spin off the business and explore its options. Over the last one year, Just Eat Takeaway's share value has gone down as well, and its one year return stands at a negative 71.63%. Next, Royal Mail. The multinational postal service and courier company is planning to boost its Sunday delivery service proposition tenfold amid an online shopping boom. This means that customers will no longer have to wait until after the weekend to receive their parcels. The service is now available to over 12,000 of Royal Mail's online customers, a significant increase from the current 75 large online retailers. However, the business has also been accused of charging a hefty Brexit tax on items received from abroad and items that are exempted from such duties. Over the past year, Royal Mail's share value has gone down and the one-year return stands at negative 42.97%. Now that you're up to speed, give us a sub and hit that bell icon to stay updated. I'm Holly Shields for Calcite Media.